Understanding dividends on preferred stock is essential for candidates preparing for the Certified Management Accountant CMA, Part 2 examination, particularly within the Financial Decision-Making section. What are preferred stock dividends? Preferred stock represents a class of ownership in a corporation that has a higher claim on its assets and earnings than common stock. Preferred stocks often come with a fixed dividend, which is one of their main attractions. These dividends must be paid out before any dividends can be distributed to common stockholders, making them particularly appealing during economic downturns or in companies with volatile earnings. Calculating preferred stock dividends. The dividend on preferred stock is typically set as a fixed amount or as a percentage of the par value of the stock. For example, if a preferred stock has a par value of $100 and the dividend rate is 5%, the annual dividend per share would be $5. To calculate the total dividends on preferred stock, you would multiply the dividend per share by the total number of preferred shares outstanding. Suppose a company has 10,000 shares of preferred stock outstanding, each with a $5 annual dividend. The company's total annual preferred dividend would be $50,000. Output, priority of preferred dividends. One of the key features of preferred stock is the priority of its dividends over common stock dividends. This means that preferred shareholders receive their dividends before common shareholders see any distribution. If a company is unable to pay all dividends, preferred dividends are accumulated in arrears. These unpaid dividends must be paid out before any future dividends can be distributed to common shareholders. Impact on financial decision making From a financial management perspective, Understanding the implications of issuing preferred stock and managing its dividends is critical. Preferred dividends are a fixed expense that can impact a company's cash flow. For CMA candidates, it's important to recognize how these dividends influence a company's financial stability, cost of capital, and investment attractiveness. Preferred stock dividends also play a role in strategic financial planning. For instance, a company may issue preferred stock to finance expansion without diluting the voting power of existing shareholders while still providing an attractive income investment option. Conclusion For CMA Part 2 candidates, mastering the concept of dividends on preferred stock is not just about memorizing calculations. It's about understanding the strategic importance of these financial instruments in corporate finance and decision-making.